Hello and welcome to another Wilderness Tamed video. Do you remember a pond that I did, a very formal pond, terraced down in three sections uh, with a filtration problem? Well, it's looking quite good. <laughs> We uh, put a network of piping along the bottom here, top that off with some alpha grog filter medium uh, and then some pea gravel which we spent ages washing and we built these gabions to hold some more alpha grog and gravel and then plant these marginals into so we've got mint um, purple loose strife and uh, well, we did have other bits and bobs in here but they've maybe migrated down to this section so we've got a lovely sneeze word growing in here there's some things have crept in there's calpha palustris there marsh marigold veronica beckabunga the brook lime which is actually creeping across the, the retaining wall uh, the customer has introduced some lilies and baskets and there were initially supposed to be fish free in here um, so it was just for invertebrates and local native stuff coming in but apparently some of the fish fry have fed in through the pump they reckon but then I'm wondering how they got up through the gravel because all the, the water is fed down to below the gravel so they must have been minute when they got in here unless they have salmon like leapt the cascades which are now a single single face across the width of the ponds these were uh, capped with a central cascade over a little stone hanging over um, but the client found that they were leaking uh, and water was disappearing into the stonework so stripped that off and now we've got nothing that's a lead flashing on there um, but anyway the result is and this was the intention was to create a natural filter so that the alpha grog and the gravel would capture a lot of the sort of heavy duty stuff the larger sediment and then the plant roots which are all natural filters uh, we take out some of the, the finer nutrients and minerals and things um, and that seems to have worked a treat and if you see how clear the water is you can see right to the bottom there which is perfect it's just what we wanted now there's some elodia crept into here as well which I didn't introduce um, but I'm guessing it's come from the lower sections of the pond where it already was introduced as an ox oxygenator lots of little pond skaters on the surface here lots of pond snails which will also contribute to cleaning up some of their plant matter in the bottoms of the ponds the water forget-me-nots doing well doing what it does and then this bottom chamber which has the majority of the fish in also crystal clear so the original setup was the water was pumped into this building here where there is a a freestanding Owazi filter but it was literally a sort of a 10 litre bucket sized filter and 10 litre filter isn't big enough to cope with the amount of stuff that would be coming through it especially with, not with the number of fish that are in that's quite a heavy heavy load of stuff to get through um, and as a result the water was constantly cloudy uh, 
the blanket weed was an issue. Uh, you couldn't see the fish. Um, and that's why we came up with the, the idea of putting in these planted gabions, both ends, and the under gravel filter, uh, just to accommodate the amount of stuff that was coming through. So the, the little Awazi filter in the garage is still there, uh, still helping a little bit, but the main bulk of the work is happening here. And this is a similar setup that you would see in one of these uh, wild swimming ponds that are all the trade, all the all the trade, all the rage, where you get a uh, a natural looking pond edge, which is contained by these planted filtration beds, um, and and native plants, well, any pond plant will act as a filter. Um, you love probably heard of reed beds where people channel uh, waste water through a series of like this stepped uh, shallow beds but they're planted up with uh, you know either phragmites or a similar sort of reed uh, which forms a very very dense mat of, of root uh, in the water and takes up uh, a huge amount of bulky organic matter and waste, as do the invertebrates and the other naturally occurring microbes in the water. Um, so this is in effect, well, a one stage uh, filter bed or reed bed, but using slightly more attractive plants than Phragmites. <laughs> so yeah, um, so if you yourselves are suffering with an overstocked pond maybe, or um, even a nicely stocked pond that's just still not coping with the uh, the muck load from the fish, then uh, you might want to consider putting in a, a under gravel filter and some uh, a lot more plants to capture all the nutrients. I know koi enthusiasts wouldn't agree because they like crystal clear water with, with no plants in whatsoever. But to me that's just a very unnatural habitat for any fish to live in. You know, fiberglass sink with uh, huge fish in and no wildlife, no plants at all. But then a, a filter system that's almost the size of the pond to cope with the, the mess. I much prefer to see, well, I don't prefer to see Elodia crisper, which is a very invasive oxygenator. I'd rather see hornwort in there. Um, oh, there's a little pond snail on an adventure. Creeping from one pond to the other. Yeah, but this to me is a much, I mean, even though it's very, very formal and it's not the kind of pond I normally get involved with, um, it's still good to see how well it's performing. So, a nice update for you. Not entirely sure what this thing's supposed to do. A bubble creation, something or other. But, uh, yeah. Not entirely sure how those fish have got in. Don't think it's through the, the pump and the filter, the pipe work. But uh, yeah, they seem happy enough. And the client was also saying that they don't feed the fish. They don't add in any of these flake or granular fish foods. There's enough naturally occurring stuff in there, be it plant matter or insect life. Uh, to keep the fish going, which is an interesting thought. So there you have it. I'll just back off so you can see the, the full effect in the distance.
thanks for watching if you'd like to know when the next video happens click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll get a notification when the next video comes out there should be every week but time's tight um, but yeah hope you've enjoyed that found it moderately interesting and i shall see you in the next one mm -hmm.